Well, we've had we've had a couple times that we've only lost two games in conference. This year, they'll do you even one better. Jackson State right now sitting at 21 and 0 in the SWAC conference play in baseball. And they might be done because there's only one regular season series left, and it's against Mississippi Valley State, who's winless and currently on a COVID protocol pause. So Coach Omar Johnson may have just managed his first unbeaten regular season. A weekend sweep of Alabama A&M now has JSU unbeaten in the SWAC in 27 and 8 overall. Coach Johnson, obviously happy, but even he didn't see this one coming. The, the, the streak is impressive. You know, that that wasn't our goal on the, you know, the onset of the season. But, you know, we, we just try to play every game for each, for what it is and, and do our best in each game. Um, the university has a record. I think 18 or 19 was the record. You know, Coach Brady had some unbelievable teams in the late 70s and early 80s. So, you know, I think they won 52 games one year. So. You know, you know, that's kind of some of the stuff we're trying to live up to. So, no, it, it, it's pretty impressive. Though. There were some close calls along the way now. The Alabama State Series was really, really close. And A&M almost knocked off the Tigers in game two this past weekend. They had, believe it or not, they had the winning run at third base with less than one out, with less than two outs. They grounded to our second baseman with the infield in. We got the out. We got out of that inning. And then we came back and we scored. I think four runs in that next inning, and, you know, pretty much ice the game. They're real resilient. They 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 find a way to win. They bounce back. On one situation in the game doesn't dictate the momentum for them. So you know, it, it's a it's a pretty good group. It's not just the bats that are popping though. JSU aggressive with base running and steals. Well, the day wasn't that strong of a day. They watered down first base at the beginning of the game. So that kind of held us back a little bit. But it, as the day went on, it dried out. We started running towards the end right there. I think we stole home twice, two or three times. Um, but that's 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 been a forte of how we play. You know, that's how we play baseball, you know, as, as long as I've been the head coach here. You know, we've been in the top five stolen bases just about every year that I've been the head coach. And we all know baseball players are super superstitious. But this year's team has been more about bonding. We try to stay in our routine. You know, we try to do the same routine every day. Um, the way we warm up, the way we go about our business, you know, but that's typical stuff. But this group, it's a bunch of new, new guys mixed in with some old, older guys. So it, everybody's kind of finding their way, but they kind of gel pretty good. They have a, some sayings that they, you know, saying that they got to like my team and different things like that. But outside of that, sticking to the routine and everybody's kind of falling into their role and doing their part. With the SWAC baseball tournament a little over two weeks away and the possibility of the College World Series on the horizon, just how good can this team be? We've been playing some good baseball. You can tell that from this weekend because it was kind of up and down. We didn't swing the bats like we were capable of, but you know, you find a way to win. You know, that's a testament to those guys being able to, you know, put a couple hits together when we need them. I like them. I like them a lot. I think they can do a, a, a lot. They can go a long way. It's just Everybody being on the same page, everybody staying focused and playing each game for what it is. Now, if you look very closely at the Jackson State schedule, you will notice a loss to Grambling on March 24th. That game was played as a non-conference game. They did not have one of those three-game weekend series against each other all season long. They split a pair of midweek games during the season. So there is that. And again, this weekend's series against Mississippi Valley State Doubtful at best, Mississippi Valley State hasn't played in a couple of weeks, currently on a COVID pause.